Saint Augustine commentary on the Gospel of Saint John, chapter 1, verse 34 to 51, tractatus 6, following. My brethren, if we acknowledge our price, that is, the blood of the Lamb, who are they who this day celebrate the festival of the blood of I know not what woman, and how ungrateful are they? The gold was snatched, they say, from the ear of a woman, and the blood ran, and the gold was placed on a pair of scales or on a balance, and the advantage was much on the side of the blood. If the blood of a woman was sufficiently weighty to outweigh the gold, what power to outweigh the world has the blood of the Lamb by whom the world was made? And indeed, that spirit, I know not who, was pacified by the blood, and he should depress the weight. Impure spirits knew that Jesus Christ would come. They had heard of his coming from his angels. They had heard of it from the prophets, and they expected it. For if they were not expecting it, why did they exclaim, what have we to do with you? Are you come before the time to destroy us? We know who you are, the Holy One of God. Mark chapter 1 verse 24 They expected that he would come, but they were ignorant of the time. But what have you heard in the psalm regarding Jerusalem? For your servants have taken pleasure in her stones and will pity the dust thereof. You shall arise, says he, and have mercy upon Zion, for the time is come that you will have mercy upon her. Psalm 102, verse 13 and 14. When the time came for God to have mercy, the lamb came. What sort of a lamb whom wolves fear what sort of a lamb is it who, when slain, slew a lion? For the devil is called a lion, going about and roaring, seeking whom he may devour. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 By the blood of the lamb, the lion was vanquished. Behold the spectacles of Christians. And what is more, they with the eyes of the flesh behold vanity. We, with the eyes of the heart, behold truth. Do not think, brethren, that our Lord God has dismissed us without spectacles. For if there are no spectacles, why have you come together today? Behold what we have said you saw, and you exclaimed. You would not have exclaimed, if you had not seen. And this is a great thing to see in the whole world, the lion vanquished by the blood of the Lamb, members of Christ delivered from the teeth of the lions and joined to the body of Christ. Therefore, some spirit or other contrived the counterfeit that his image should be bought for blood, because he knew that the human race was at some time to be redeemed by the precious blood. For evil spirits counterfeit certain shadows of honor to themselves, that they may deceive those who follow Christ. So much so, my brethren, that those who seduce by means of amulets, by incantations, by the devices of the enemy, mingle the name of Christ with their incantations, because they are not now able to seduce Christians. So as to give them poison, they add some honey, that by means of the sweet, the better may be concealed and be drunk to ruin. So much so, that I know that the priest of that Pileatus, who sometimes, in the habit of saying, Pileatus himself also is a Christian. Why so, brethren? unless that they were not able otherwise to seduce Christians? 
Do not then seek Christ elsewhere than where Christ wished himself to be preached to you. And as he wished himself to be preached to you in that fashion, hold fast him fast. Hold him fast. In that manner, write him on your heart. It is a word against all the assaults and against all the snares of the enemy. Do not fear. He does not tempt unless he has been permitted. It is certain that he does nothing unless permitted or sent. He is sent as an evil angel by a power holding him in control. He is permitted when he asks anything. And this brethren does not take place unless that the just may be tried, the unjust punished. Why then do you fear? Walk in the Lord your God. Be you assured, what he does not wish you to suffer, you do not suffer. What he permits you to suffer is the sore scourge of one correcting, not the punishment of one condemning. We are being educated for, in it, for an eternal inheritance, and do we spurn to be scourged? My brethren, if a boy were to refuse the punishment of cuffs or stripes from his father, would he not be called proud, incorrigible, and grateful towards paternal discipline? And for what does an earthly father educate his son? That he may not lose the temple things which he has acquired for him, which he has collected for him, which he does not wish him to lose which he who leaves them can't retain eternally. He does not teach a son with whom he is to possess, but one who is to possess after him. My brethren, if a father teaches a son who is to succeed him, and teaches him also that he will have to pass through all these things, in same way as he who is admonishing him is destined to pass through them, how do you wish that he educate us, our Father, to whom we are not to succeed, but to whom we are to approach, and with whom we are to abide eternally in all inheritance, which does not decay nor die, and which no storms can desolate? He is himself both the inheritance and the Father. Shall we possess him, and ought we not to undergo training? Let us hear the instruction of the Father. When our head aches, let us not have recourse to the superstitious intercessor, to the diviners and remedies of vanity. My brethren, shall I not mourn over you? Daily do I find these things, and what shall I do? Not yet have I persuaded Christians that their hope ought to be placed in God. Behold, if one dies to whom one of these remedies has been given, and how many have died with remedies, and how many have lived without them. With what confidence does the Spirit go forth to God? He has lost the sign of Christ, and has received the sign of the devil. Perhaps he may say that he has not lost the sign of Christ. You can have then the sign of Christ, along with the sign of the devil. Christ does not desire a community of ownership, but he desires to possess alone what he has purchased. He has bought at so great a price that he may possess alone. You make him the partner of that devil to whom you did sell yourself by the sin. Woe to the double-hearted! Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 verse 12 To those who in their hearts give part to God and part to the devil. God being angry that the devil has part there, departs, and the devil will possess the whole. Not in vain therefore, says the apostle, neither give place to the devil. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27 let us know the Lamb, then, brethren, let us know our price.